Hey guys, how's it going? Josh Spoon here. Just got an iPad a couple of months ago, trying to figure out what's going on, and I got the Sector app. It just came in, so I'm going to show you a little bit about what I found. It looks a little daunting, but hopefully after this walkthrough, you'll be a Sector Pro. All right, let's go. <laughs> First off, I'm going to clear everything out. There's a map section here, and that allows me to fold that down, clear it out, so we can start from scratch. Um, another way to start from scratch is to do load project default. And what that has done is actually loaded a new sound that's default in there. So I can go to import audio share. You can also import from mail and Dropbox and a couple other places. So you'd have to go to mail or Dropbox and then say open with sector. So I'm going to import from audio share and I've already got the track selected. That's imported now. It's a little something I made in figure a while back while flying to Vegas. Um, it's a short flight, so I made a short beat. So like I was saying in this map section, you have a couple of different features. Uh, down here you have four presets to choose from. Right now they're all the same. And then you also have four triggers. Over here it gives you uh, your current play position and the history of the few steps that you've gone through. Here uh, is the current step that you're on and you can change the tempo and everything here. You just drag it across. So we'll start this up. Let's turn it. Let's go up a little bit. All right. So right now it's just going in a circle. These little connecting points are telling it, hey, 100% probability that you're going to go to the next one. So we want to change that a little bit. Let's find a cool start. Um, so we'll start here. See, we've got it selected. And then you see right here that there's the probabilities all the way up on this next one. So we want to make it um, actually skip that one and go to the next. So what we'll do is we'll click and hold on here and then just pull it up. And you can go all the way to 100 if you want. So it's going to happen 100% of the time. I'm going to put it around 50. You can see the percentage up here. So I've already made a connection here. So you can have it go where it can do 50% every other. And so you can go to the next or jump over 50%. Um, and then really the... The options are endless here. So I can select this one and then select the one directly across and just drag up, click and drag. So you now have a 50% chance that it's going to jump all the way across. Let's take that up to 100. Okay, let's create a smaller loop here. So I'm going to select that one and then click and drag. And now you can see the probability is about a third between the three points. You see there's three points here. And I'm going to turn this one down because I don't like the way it does it. Let's turn this up some more. And then if you want to create a loop, I'll select the point that I've made a connection for and then make a connection back. Okay, 
Let's make a stronger connection here. So there's barely a connection with that third one. So now it's just gonna go back and forth. And as you can see, it's showing the steps right there. So there's some other things on this map section. We could shift it back. So you can really just like have dope loops and then get them caught up you can go back you can flip it then you can have four triggers here. Then you can change the trigger, so you hold down the trigger and then tap the selection. So now I have that sector. And I can hold it down again and change it to this sector. So you have a lot of possibilities. You have four presets that you can make. Like these are all blank or defaulted. So I can make four of these and then I could trigger. So that's just the map section. Now here's the sequence section. So you have four sequences as well that you could do. And we can now select a section and then make that a sequence. And we can just drag and lower the steps. And let's see. Let's pick another one at random. And I'm going to click and then drag. And you can see it changes the probability. So I can make three other ones. And I can shift it as well. Back and forth, reverse it. Shift it and reverse it. And I could do random. So I have all that going. And then lastly, actually let's change this back. So we're going to go to this warp section. And this will change the way that the sound is affected depending on which one you select. So we're kind of in this loop here. Let's bring this up. There's a bunch of different waveforms. Let's select this other one. So let's just change it here. So there's four of them. They work just like the other ones, percentages between the four. Keep selecting the wrong one. I like this one.
Lastly, I'll show you. I have this open in audio bus, so it works in there. It also works in uh, inner audio app as well. So we'll throw filtration on there and tape. I have a setting from earlier. So I have it running through filtration and recording in tape. So yeah, take a look at the Sector app. I really enjoy it. Towers of fun, buckets of fun, all sorts of fun for everyone. <laughs>